Are you looking for a place that offers affordable housing, city convenience, and abundance of outdoor adventures? Whether you're a first time home buyer or a young couple looking to upsize, then you need to consider the east side of Hamilton. As here on the east side, you're gonna find some of the most affordable detached homes and townhomes, not only just in Hamilton, but the greater Toronto and Hamilton area, as the best deals are gonna be more on the north side, closely industrial areas. But if you're looking for quiet, mature line streets, tucked into the escarpment this region is also going to be offering that so if you want to learn the complete breakdown of the east side's hamilton map as well as what is exactly inside this home that we'll be touring in just a second keep on watching and just a short walk away from that home but really any other home on the east side you're gonna have easy access to the red hill valley trail to go for an amazing walk but also a short drive away to the red hill valley parkway to grab easy access to the highway to head out on the qew out to niagara falls or Toronto or up to the Hamilton Mountain and on the Lincoln Alexander Parkway. But perhaps my favorite thing about this neighborhood here is the best patio in all of Hamilton is located here, which I'll be sharing with you guys in just a moment. But first, let's go take a look at everything you need to know about living on the east side of Hamilton. And as the name implies, it's located on the eastern side of Hamilton and you have the Red Hill Valley splitting it down the middle. Now we'll be breaking down the map in just a moment, but there's really broken down into three major regions. You have the southeast side, the southwest side, and then slightly more on the north side as well that offers some of the best real estate deals in all of Hamilton. So if you wanna learn what the map is, of the east side of Hamilton, keep on watching. If you're new here, I wanna learn everything about what it's like living in Hamilton and the surrounding cities, make sure to hit the subscribe button. My name's Matthew, the founding realtor of the Living in Hamilton channel and team. And for the past few years, we've been helping people just like yourselves relocate here. So whether you're thinking about making the move in six months or in 60 days, send us a message today. Otherwise, let's go take a look at the amazing shopping you're gonna be finding on the east side. So throughout the neighborhood on the major roads of Main Street, otherwise known as Highway 8, King Street, Parkdale and Barton, you're gonna find many plazas to choose from, all of which are decently on the smaller sides compared to some other areas of Hamilton. Currently, we're in the King Rose Place Plaza that has a shoppers, has a metro, and a few other stores to explore. But then on the east side, you're gonna find Eastgate Square Mall that has more than 100 name brand stores to choose from, including the soon-to-be LRT end of the B line there as well. And then on the west side, close to Central Hamilton, you'll find the Center on Barton that has many more shops for you to explore from a Walmart, a Metro, a Staples, a Michaels, a Canadian Tire, and a Mandarin as well. And then right beside the Center on Barton, you're also gonna find Ottawa Street that has many great local businesses from the Ottawa market to Hamburg to the simple Italian bakery and a bunch more. Now as for my favorite local businesses you'll need to check out when living on the east side. First you need to check out Barbecue Bandits to pick up some pulled pork and a rack of ribs or you have Mickey's Jamaican Jerk for some delicious jerk chicken or pork. Then you also have Glendale's Pub for some good pub food, mega subs for a delicious club sub and a great deal to Clifford Brewing Co to enjoy some cold craft brews and amazing live music. It was actually named the Brewery of the Year in Canada in 2019. But if you wanna learn about the best patio to go enjoy a summer afternoon, then keep on watching as we're gonna be checking that out in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at the amazing parks you're gonna be finding throughout the east side. And the biggest and best park has to be the Red Hill Valley Trail. Here is an expansive trail network that you can either take out south and a climb the night Agra Escarpment and go check out Albion Falls and Buttermilk Falls but then on the north side also connect you with Lake Ontario and the beautiful waterfront park of Confederation Park that has Adventure Village and Wild Waterworks as well but then also in this park here you're gonna have Hutches on the Beast a perfect spot to grab an ice cream now a few other neighborhood parks you're gonna be enjoying that are usually connected to the Red Hill Trail are it's like here we're standing in Rosedale Park here has many baseball diamonds 
diamonds that you can enjoy. So you better watch out for those foul balls, but you'll also find an indoor ice rink here and just down the street, the also outdoor pool in the Rosedale community. And then another great park in these neighborhoods here is the Parkdale Park, offering you also a skate park, an arena, and more sports fields. But if you're like me and love golf, you also have two amazing golf courses close by in the King Forest Golf Club and the Glendale Golf Club. And usually close by a bunch of the neighborhood parks is some amazing schools. And then as for schools on the east side, you're gonna find nine different elementary schools, some public and some Catholic, offering a variety of different streams and great extracurricular skills as well. And then in terms of high schools, you're gonna find three high schools throughout the east side. Now, if the Fraser Institute rankings are important to you, you will find some great schools here. However, there is a checkered history here, so definitely make sure to do your due diligence on that there. Now that you know the total schools in the east side, let's talk about the real estate and what you'll be finding. And primarily in these neighborhoods here, it was detached homes, as this was 78% of the sales in the past 12 months months with about half the detached homes really selling between that $650,000 and $450,000 price point. Here they're going to be those smaller wartime bungalow homes and one and a half story homes. Now the closer you go north north towards the industrial areas you're even going to find some homes under that $450,000 mark. But then the other half of homes that are usually selling either on the east side or a bit more on the south side of the neighborhood are really selling between that $650,000 and $950,000 mark. Here you're going to find a lot more of those detached homes that are on the south side of the neighborhood, usually going to be those raised bungalows, those two-story homes, or those side splits and back splits. So in just a moment, we're going to be touring this lovely home behind me here that has a stunning backyard you need to check out. But then as for townhomes, this made up 11% of the real estate sales on the east side. Now typically they're selling between $500,000 and $750,000 with about two-thirds of the townhomes in this region here being condo townhomes that are a bit more affordable and some of the most affordable throughout Hamilton however have a monthly maintenance fee between $300 and $500. Now we're going to be finding the majority of townhomes on the east side is going to be close to the Red Hill Valley. Then in terms of what they're going to be finding inside the townhomes they're usually going to offer three beds, two baths and a single car garage. And then as for condos this also made up 11% of the real estate sales here, typically selling between that $350,000 and $600,000 mark. Now, these buildings here, you're gonna find some brand new ones as well as other ones that were built in the 70s and 80s, usually having a maintenance fee, depending on what the amenities are, anywhere from $500 up to $800 per month. Now, most of the condos here are gonna be offering two to three beds and one to two bathrooms. So if you wanna check out any of the real estates, whether that's detached homes, townhomes, or condos on the east side of the Hamilton, send me and my team a message today. Otherwise, let's jump on the computer and give you a lay of the land of everything you need to know about the east side of Hamilton's map. Alrighty guys, so here we are on the map. Now before we jump in and really go into the different shopping options, the best parks, uh, our local favorite gems, where you can find the schools and the public transit on the east side, let's just talk about exactly what makes up the east side of central Hamilton. So if we zoom in here, of course it's going to be on the east side, but what does that mean? Well, it's really anything that is gonna be east of Kenilworth down to the Hamilton Beach over here, up Upper Centennial or Centennial to Upper Centennial, and then you have the Niagara Escarpment right here. Now, the way I break down the east side is really three primary areas. So if we zoom in first and we look at the southwest side, here it's gonna be making up neighborhoods of Bartonville, Glenview West, and Rosedale. These neighborhoods are very similar, uh, kind of like to the north side of the Hamilton Mountain. A lot of those older one and a half story uh, homes and bungalows to choose from on quiet streets, usually a great size lot as well. Uh, however, you will have a hydro line kind of running along this edge right here uh, that I know deters some of my clients. Other people don't mind it like myself because it adds that extra green space into the neighborhood. Then the other area um, in the east side of Hamilton is just on the other side of the Red Hill Valley Trail. And that is this side over here, really the east south side. And this really makes up neighborhoods of like the Vincent neighborhood. Uh, you have the uh, Red Hill neighborhood, Dursum, uh, Greenford, and Corman right here. Kind of gets wrapped in 
it's kind of blocking it, but that's it right here. Really, it's just anything that is south of Highway 8. And in a moment, we're actually gonna be touring a home in the Vincent neighborhood right here, so keep on watching. And then the other areas are a bit closer to the industrial sector, more on the north side, and it's really anything that is north of Highway 8, and you can kind of go down here. And now, of course, the closer you do get to the industrial sector, which is basically in this direction, the more affordable the homes are. However, also more present the industrial sector will be on your day-to-day -day commute. Now, when you're living in these sectors here, in terms of commuting out to Toronto or the rest of the greater Toronto area or Hamilton, you have a couple of options to choose from. So the most notable would of course just be the Red Hill Valley Parkway running right down the middle right here that can take you out to the QEW going to Toronto, QEW going out to Niagara Falls, or also out to the Lincoln Alexander Parkway to take you out west as well as just along the mountain. Then in terms of the actual inner neighborhood public transit and where you're going to be driving and seeing the most amount of transit options to choose from, really it's going to be along Highway 8 here is going to have the best options for you to choose from. Centennial will have some good options as well, as well as Barton, but where the most amount of infrastructure and investment is gonna be coming really is around this Highway 8 here, as this is where the LRT line is gonna be coming in and actually ending right here at Eastgate Square Mall. So talking about Eastgate Square, let's take a look now at the different shopping opportunities you're gonna be having on the east side. Now, as you can see, the more south we go in the neighborhood, less shopping options within walking distance. You'll find a few smaller plazas, mainly a couple restaurants or like a convenience store, but the vast majority of shopping options are either gonna be along Highway 8 here on Centennial right here where that Eastgate Square Mall intersection is. There's gonna be a lot of shopping options to choose from, but then you'll also find some options along Barton Street, especially Barton Street in Kenilworth. This is gonna be uh, the center on Barton, a brand new plaza in the recent years that's got everything from a Walmart, an LCBO, a beer store, Metro, Michaels, Canadian Tire, um, the Mandarin, and a bunch of other restaurants to choose from. So great options there. And if you're like me and absolutely love some local favorite gems, then you need to go either to one, Ottawa Street here is gonna have a lot of options to choose from, from flea markets, the antique markets, uh, to just great sub spots like Mike Subs, the Power Pizza, uh, Merck Snack Bar, you have the Ottawa Street Market as well. So just lots of great options to choose from there. But in terms of my personal favorite gems, if you're to live in the east side that you absolutely need to check out, Number one you have here is the barbecue bandits that I mentioned earlier for some of the best barbecue in all of Hamilton. Here we have mega subs for some amazing subs. But then just over here, this is where you're gonna actually be finding two amazing restaurants. First, you have Mickey's Jamaican Jerk as well as the Glendale Pub and actually Donar Istanbul's right here. These are all within walking distance of the home that we're gonna be touring in just a moment. But other than that, you also have, of course, the Eastgate Square Mall that we mentioned, which is a great shopping option with more than 100 name brand stores to choose from. And if you're actually interested in some newer condo developments, there's gonna be about 5,000 plus residents coming in the next coming years to Eastgate Square Mall. But now that you know the shopping and where the local gems are, in terms of the parks and recreation centers, as you can see, it's pretty well spread out. Now, on the south end, you are gonna have more of those waterfalls as that's where the Niagara Escarpment is, and therefore that's where the waterfalls are as well. But then on the uh, north end, you are gonna find Confederation Park, a great waterfront park, and then throughout, you will find some neighborhood parks, like most notably would be the, the Rosedale Park right here that offers great amount of uh, of baseball diamonds to choose from as well as an outdoor pool just on the other side. Two main golf courses here, the King Forest Golf Club as well as the Glendale Golf Club right here. Uh, some good options to choose from as well. And you can actually go up the mountain and there's a nice little nine hole pitch and putt course if you're really into golfing as well. But in terms of like the neighborhood parks, one of the things that's gonna be common, not just in East Hamilton, like, but just throughout the Central Hamilton and West Hamilton, um, is there's gonna be less neighborhood parks than in some more suburban neighborhoods. Really, they focus on those one main flagship park and then have a few smaller parks throughout as well. So in terms of the green spaces, it will be a little bit less options to choose from. And then in terms of the schools, as you can see, a nice distribution of the schools throughout the area here, uh, both on each side of the Red Hill Valley Parkway 
And then in terms of the public transit, here is where you're actually gonna find Confederation Go. Here is right now under construction to make it a full-fledged Go train station. At the moment, they really only do the Go buses. However, but it's been under construction for a couple of years and I'm sure it'll be completed soon so that you have easy access to commute to Toronto via the Go Rail network. So if you are interested in getting access to this custom map here covering not just the east side of Hamilton, but the entire the of central Hamilton, and then we have a bunch of other maps covering the other areas of Hamilton. Down below, you can find a link to our free Hamilton Home Buyer Starter Kit where you can grab your copy of this map here, as well as a bunch of exclusive videos that I go into detail, everything you need to know before moving to Hamilton. So you can find that link down below. Otherwise, let's go take a look at that lovely home in the Vincent neighborhood. All right, guys, so welcome to 14 Par Place. This is a lovely raised bungalow behind me that offers three bedrooms, two full bathrooms, as well as is a perfect basement suite that you could rent out and house hack. But the best part of this home happens to be, be the backyard with an in-ground pool, a hot tub, and a lots of green space for your dogs to enjoy. All listed at $849,000. So come on in and take a look. in this lovely home you can either head on downstairs to your basement or head on upstairs to your living room dining room so let's check out the upstairs first now here you're going to be opening up to your open concept living room and dining room that is easily connected into your kitchen that you easily get access to your backyard so after you enjoy preparing a meal in the kitchen you can enjoy it in your backyard oasis but before we go check out that down the hall, you're gonna find three additional bedrooms, including a full bathroom. And then in the basement, you're gonna be finding an own in-law suite here, perfect with a separate entrance with the garage, a full kitchen, and great amount of sunlight for a basement. But now let's go take a look at the true selling feature of this home, the beautiful backyard. And as you can see, this backyard is a true oasis as you have this beautiful indoor pool, as well as a great hot tub but a gazebo with a fire pit, perfect to enjoy those summer nights. But like I mentioned, there's ample green space just on the other side of this beautiful nature wall behind me. So if you're interested in checking out this home or other ones similar on the east side of Hamilton, send me and my team a message today. Otherwise, let's go take a look at the transit scores on the east side. And the transit scores on the east side of Hamilton are going to be above the average. Not going to be as good as like downtown Hamilton, but since you are still part of that central Hamilton just on the east side, you're going to have some great walkability and great public transit options. As the walk score was rated a 65 compared to Hamilton's average of 50, one, because you're gonna find those smaller plazas throughout the neighborhood here. But then two, no matter really what neighborhood you're choosing to live on the east side, you're gonna be just a short walk away, either from Highway 8 or Main Street, Barton Street, Centennial, or Kenilworth, which also has lots of different shopping options that you could easily walk to, to at least get your basic amenities. Now, with that said, to do those bigger shopping halls, you either are gonna be traveling out to Eastgate Square or the center on Barton. And then in terms of public transit, this was rated a 57 compared to Hamilton's average of 45, with the most amount of public transit options really happening along Highway 8 Main Street. But then here as well, like I mentioned, you have Confederation Go, which will soon be a full-fledged Go Train network that will take you out to Union Station in about an hour. But for now, it just has Go Bus options for you to utilize. And then in terms of the bike score, this was rated a 54 compared to Hamilton's average of 50. As well, you will find a bunch of quiet streets for you to go on a neighborhood bike ride. If you're looking for those bike paths, really the only one that you're gonna be able to really enjoy is that Red Hill Valley Trail bike path. Other than that, for the most part, you're either gonna be biking on the side of the street or on some of the main streets, you will find a bike path. However, to get basic, your basic amenities done, Sure, it's good, but I wouldn't really recommend it overall. So now that you know a complete picture of the transit scores on the east side of Central Hamilton, let's go check out my favorite patio in all of Hamilton. All right, guys, so here we are at the best patio in 
all of Hamilton, especially on the east side. I don't know if you can hear it in the audio, but we're right beside Lake Ontario where you hear the waves crashing on the beaches and grab some amazing food at Barangas on the beach. As here, not only has amazing patio, but amazing authentic Greek food as well as the best cold beer on a summer day. Not to mention, they have some amazing beach volleyball courts where you can join a league, play some volleyball, and then grab some food after and catch up with some friends. So now that you know the best patio in all of Hamilton, if you're interested in learning more about another great waterfront community, the next video I recommend you go take a look at is my video covering everything you need to know about Central Stony Creek. So you can find that video right here. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day.